Hey there, Ava Hills 45 here, and now I'm going to be starting a series of videos for a new and improved uh, C++ database program. I, uh, if you haven't checked out my old one, go ahead and check that out, but now I'm going to be doing a new one. Uh, one that's, it has more options, it's, it works a little better together. So now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, unlike before, I'm going to actually type the code out in front of you, rather than just highlighting the code and showing you and telling you what it means. So let's go ahead and get started. Start a, uh, new project. Now you go to file. I'm using Visual Visual C++ rather than uh, Dev C++ because actually uh, Dev C++ does not work on uh, Windows 8. It will not be compatible. So you go to new project Windows 32 application. Hit next here. Now uh, take this off, that off, and just go to empty project. And hit finish. Then you go to your source files, right click, add new item, and then you go to C++ file, add that, and you get uh, a file in which you can add stuff in. Uh, I'm going to rename this. Let's rename it uh, Employee Database. Alright, now we're going to start here by uh, including some libraries. So go to pound, include, we're going to have to do three of them. I have a stream for your uh, uh, text streaming. And uh, F streaming for your file streaming. And one last one for your string functions, which is just plain string. There we go. Now using name space standard, or else you'd have to declare that each of your functions was a standard namespace. Now let's start the main function. All right, now here we're going to start out by just some formatting stuff. System CLS. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. and make it title and I'll just call mine the Italy horse 45 database program alright whoops don't want to do that there we go now another one is going to be for your color I do that you don't really have to do this but I do it anyway color you put zero F. This makes it a, it's like a black background and a bright white text rather than the gray text that it usually comes with. All right, now let's start this out here with uh, some outputting some text. Let's just put a simple, please enter choice, which we'll get to here in a little bit. End line. Now we're going to put the choices out here. There's going to be five choices. One for inputting a new employee. One for searching f uh, for an employee by an ID number. Editing an, an existing employee's information and displaying all the employees. And finally, an exit. All right, here. Two, or no, what are we doing here? One. <laughs> Always start counting at one. Input new employee and line. And number two, search for search for an employee. by ID number. Now we'll get all these functions down later, but for now, let's just get the basic menu set up. And third is edit, edit an existing employee's information.
Now this is this is the very basics of programming. This is not too complicated, so you could just if you have a basic understanding of C++, you should be able to know how to do this. Now the fourth one's going to be a display all. All right, last one, exit which is a very easy function to make whenever we do that. Actually, we don't even have to make a function. If you just leave it blank and someone inputs a 5, it'll actually just end the program, which will work out just right. Okay, now here into some of the uh, actual programming. It create an integer called choice. Alright, now uh, prompt the user using the sin function to input choice. Sin is for, uh, think of it as in C input, C, C code inputting. Alright, now uh, we're going to create a switch case. Switch, and then in parentheses you put the variable you want to be the um, inputted value for the choice. And then you need uh, curly brackets. Now inside of here, you're going to have different cases. A case is like, if you put case 1, that means that it's uh, um, the first one. Like, number, like if you put input 1, that's what will be done. Now I'll go ahead and just put input uh, right there. Now it'll come up as being an error for right now, but uh, we'll because it's because the function hasn't been created yet. So we'll get to that here in a second. Break, break in, breaks the loop there. Case two, it will be search. Now, if you watch my other video, this is looking pretty similar as of right now, but it's going to get different, I promise. Third one is edit. Case four is display all. There we go. Break. All right, now that should end the uh, get a little formatting there. That should end the switch case. You don't have to make a five because if you input five and it's outside of the cases, if there's no case for it, it'll just end the program. All right, now let's start making those functions. First one's going to be void input all right there I'll go ahead and just create them all I'm here void uh, uh, search and hold on a second void edit oops And last one, void, display all. Alright, now, uh, for this video, I'm going to do the input function for right now. Alright, now, we're going to start this off with, uh, just like as before, System. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, that's right. Never mind. Uh, start with the input, and we're gonna start with a system command. CLS. CLS clears the screen, and uh, we'll make the command prompt uh, empty for whenever you do this. Now we're gonna need to make some strings. String. Let's just say f name. All right, I'll copy this, make it easier. F name, uh, m name, 
and L name. These are gonna be made for the first, middle, and last name. It's gonna have the uh, user um, input each of the of the first, middle, and last name of the employee. Now string, and now this is gonna be file name. Now this I'll get to in a second. Now double salary. Okay. So that's for the salary of the employee and then a simple integer for the EMPID uh, the employee ID number okay let's get done get going some of the formatting here see out input first name colon there and then a semicolon there. Don't need. Don't end the line there. It'll look a lot better this way. F name. And oops. Not really sure why I capitalized the name name there, but there we go. Quick quick fix. All right now. Input middle name and then uh. Oh geez, what did I do up here? That was a mistake. There we go. I'll probably make a couple mistakes throughout these, but I'll probably catch them, which will be good. M name. Okay, there we go. That's for the middle name. Now I'm a little lazy. Let's just copy and paste this. There we go. Input last name and change it M to an L. There we go, there's that. Alright, now uh, I'll do that again for the age, salary, and ID number. Alright, this one's gonna be uh, employee age. And change this to age. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> like one of those mistakes I said I would make. I mean, make it easier for age. Here we go. And next is the salary. 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 There we go. Let's make sure they all max, max, match. Right. There we go. All right. Now, last one for this is the uh, ID number that will follow each uh, employee. And then this will be EMP ID. There we go. There's that. Now, next is going to be a uh, little thing, a little trick that you use to make the uh, inputted ID number be the name of the file that's created. All right, now you're going to create a string and name it, I'm going to name it EMP ID 2 and make that equals to a little function called 2 underscore string because the only thing that can be used is file names or strings. You can't make a number a file name it won't work, it'll create an error. So uh, then in parentheses put EMP ID yeah first one. There we go. Now what that does is it'll cre it'll turn the uh, it creates a string called EMP ID 2 and it makes that string equal to uh, the string version of uh, uh, the, the employee ID number. So it's, it'll be able to be used as a um, file name for whenever the file is created it'll create its own individual file for each employee okay now uh, next is going to be uh, okay first now let's go EMP ID 2 and you have to put dot a p p e n d in, parent in parentheses then you gotta, you gotta put dot txt what this does is so here I'll I'll code this real quick right here and then describe that. Oh, stream for outputting to a file. 
Call the file new employee, and then inside the parentheses, where you usually put in, in uh, inside those parentheses, you usually put quotations and put like employee.txt or something. But rather than that, you just kind of put empid2 there. So this is what this does. It adds the, the txt to the. Uh, hold on, there we go. Text error typing error. It takes the string that was made up here and adds txt at the end of it. So inside of here this will be reading whatever the input ID number was, say it was like 010001 or something. It'll uh, put txt at the end of it and then that'll be the name of the file. Alright, now to this we're gonna have to put a new employee and we're gonna have to stream the names of the file, uh, the names of the, the first name, last name, and the uh, first name, middle name, last name, age, employee ID, salary, whatever. Now put, put those uh, single hash marks on there to uh, put the uh, put a space in between it so it doesn't look all jumbled in the file. M name All right, now next is going to be L name. All right, hold on a second here. I'm getting an error. I'll fix it here in a second, hold on. Right, there's the employee ID and last second to last is gonna be the salary. Oh geez, not in quotation lines. Don't know what I'm thinking here. Alright, salary and then net last is going to be age. And then the line. And the line in the file. I'll, get, I'll fix this here just in a second. I'll cut this out if it's going to take too long. Okay, now, problem solved. The thing was, I forgot to close off the, the uh, brackets for the switch case. That was very simple, very... Stupid of me, but it's working now. There we go. All those things are not do not have errors underneath them. All right. Uh, okay. Now I should be good there. Now uh, let's see what we got next. There we go. All right. Now we need to make sure we close the, the file. So we're gonna do new employee dot close. Now, if you don't close the file, it won't write anything to it. Once you close it, it will, uh, it'll actually, um, write, write the uh, information to the file. Now, next, um, actually, I'll save this, for, I'll save that for another, for later on. I'll do something else to this file in a later video. But, uh, well, that's actually, uh, about it for the inputting. So, uh, Make sure you check out the next part. I'll be doing the search, the edit, and the display all functions. All right, now catch you later. See ya. Make sure you like, subscribe. See you in my next video.